we are in Exodus 34 today, verses 29 to 35. We're going to finish the chapter. And kind of an interesting piece right here. Let's read it. It came about when Moses was coming down from Mount Sinai, and the two tablets of the testimony were in Moses' hand as he was coming down from the mountain, that Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because of his speaking with him. So when Aaron and all the sons of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come near him. Then Moses called to them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned to him, and Moses spoke to them. Afterward, all the sons of Israel came near, and he commanded them to do everything that the Lord had spoken to him on Mount Sinai. When Moses had finished speaking with him, he put a veil over his face. But whenever Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he would take off the veil until he came out. And whenever he came out and spoke to the sons of Israel, what he had been commanded. The sons of Israel would see the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' face shone, so Moses would replace the veil over his face until he went in to speak with him. So when Moses goes in to speak with God and he comes out, his face is shining. And uh, he's so much so that he uniquely has to veil his face. Kind of an interesting piece. When they first saw Moses and they saw his face glowing, they were so surprised that they were afraid. Uh, he'd just been in communion with God, though. So... Is it a surprise that someone has been in communion with God, that their face shines? I remember uh, the day I was baptized. Um, it was a really high day for me, a really a precious day. And I remember that um, uh, I was walking down the street and I went into a, a location there where some people I knew were and they said, oh, they said, Larry, your face is shining. I don't know that. I don't think my face was shining like Moses's face here was, but I think they just meant that I, I had an unusually uh, joyful countenance. So, uh, and I did because, uh, and that gave me an opening. I said, hey, do you know what happened today? Today I was baptized into Jesus and at the Lord Jesus Christ. So friends, um, it's it's just pretty cool to see fa Moses' face shining uh, so much so that uh, everybody notices. When you come into communion with God, it's not that your face turns dark. It's not darkness, it's light. And God wants us to be in the light. I find it interesting here that Moses uh, always takes the veil off when he's in God's presence, but he has to put the veil on when he's in the people's presence. Now, this is unique. This isn't going to happen to Aaron. It's not going to happen to any other prophet. Uh, this is just kind of a unique piece between God and Moses. We don't know everything to really draw, derive from it or think from it, but this was certainly putting a stamp of divin divine approval uh, on Moses, gave Moses a little bit of extra authority. Hey, we've got a guy here whose face glows in the dark. Um, he's our leader. So, yeah, Moses, for Moses to have a little, a little extra boost in that department uh, with this group of people who were prone to, you know, go off the rails at every occasion, probably not a bad thing. And, uh, but anyway, interesting how Moses took the veil off when he came into God's presence. Friends, when we come into God's presence, we need to, we can't hide anything from him. We should take, take all the masks off and be fully exposed. Let God do the x-rays and, and uh, we, we need and want his goodness upon us. We need and want his insight, his judgment, his evaluation so that we can uh, be transformed and become more like him. All right, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.